Hello, this is John Kenalopoulos from Athens, Greece in uh, New York City, New York. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce to you our new technique for uh, cross-thinking the vehicle cornea and uh, the type uh, 1 Boston keratoprosthesis. This is the uh, vehicle donor cornea on which we're going to mount the keratoprosthesis. We're going to first use the FS200 uh, wave light femtosecond laser to create a pocket uh, 7 millimeter in diameter, 400 microns depth. Uh, these are the settings on the FS200 from the second laser. Um, and uh, we will use this pocket, as you'll see shortly, created here. Uh, the uh, Femto creates first a venting uh, channel, which we will use as entry. We're going to use uh, that channel to enter into this cornea and create, generate the pocket in which we're going to instill 0 0.25 solution, riboflavin solution. This is the Vibex Extra made by Vidro. Uh, and we'll see this uh, shortly here done with an olive tip cannula and uh, soak the stroma and then go over very, very high fluence uh, with the Avidro KXL1 here to cross-link the deep part of this cornea. This is a higher concentration of riboflavin, 0.25% versus 0.1%, which is the classic Dresden protocol riboflavin. And in essence, what we're trying to do here is have UV light go through the translucent cornea that is not soaked with riboflavin, reach the pocket, which now has diffused riboflavin over and under it. Remember the pocket is at 400 microns, and try and get cross-linking. Following this first, first session of deep collagen cross-linking, I'm scraping the surface of the donor cornea, removing the epithelium, and again, 10 minutes of Vibex Extra, 0.25% riboflavin by Avidro, and then a very high fluent session, the second one for this cornea, 7.2 joules. Now that the cornea is double cross link, we'll uh, place it on the cutting block and uh, first uh, do a central punch with the derm uh, three millimeter uh, punch. You can see it here. And then um, do our uh, nine and a half millimeter uh, trephination to create the vehicle cornea, which is double cross linked as you can see here. Uh, we'll mount the uh, uh, K-Pro type 1 in the usual fashion, bring it in here. Some advantages here after the cornea from the cross-linking uh, re-expands, uh, it will fit more snug, snugly on the prosthesis and uh, as we're uh, uh, publishing in a review of 11 cases, uh, this may reduce uh, melt of the vehicle cornea and or the vehicle host cornea and uh, less susceptibility to uh, infection and possibility. And closing here, I'll show you a, a typical case, uh, severe external disease here, um, and uh, we're using a uh, nine millimeter uh, blade here with the HANA tree fine. You can see here the extreme external disease, uh, a failed graft already uh, twice, and uh, coming in, um, excising the um, Cornea, we have a dense cataract underneath. We're going to do an open sky uh, cataract procedure and uh, uh, do first a uh, can opener capsurexis and then with irrigation express the very dense uh, uh, cataract as you can see here. Following that, uh, we will, uh, I think uh, it's clearly appreciable that uh, this is a very advanced cataract. Uh, reflate the anterior chamber with methylcellulose and then uh, go in uh, to uh, place the um, vehicle cornea and uh, the Boston K-Pro in the usual fashion, uh, uh, 16 inch rub to 10 on island sutures. Um, you can appreciate that the uh, vehicle cornea is a little bit oversized. Finishing the procedure here, all uh, knots uh, buried into the uh, host little antibiotic here, um, several hours for and this is postoperatively a uh, very good result. The patient is 20, 30 and corrected. And here the corneal CT showing the snug fit. This is John Kenlock signing out. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.